Okay, today is October 28th, 2016. It's a little bit warmer than it should be this time of year. It's supposed to get up to 80 today, which doesn't thrill me. I prefer it to be 70 or under, but we did get a little bit of rain two days ago, and we're not supposed to get any more rain for the next couple of weeks. So I figured I'd take this opportunity, get out in the woods and see what kind of mushrooms are going. I'll let you know what I find. some honeys I'll take them we've actually got honey mushrooms coming up all over the place around here let's see More down there. These ones are definitely a little more of the brown variety. Got some oysters here. However, they're pretty dried out. Unfortunately, I didn't find them just a little bit earlier. Some pear shaped puffballs. I'll be putting out a video hopefully pretty soon on those. They're dried up. found a couple Rishi mushrooms. Unfortunately, they're pretty old. I don't know if this one may be still good for using for tea. Nope. Too far gone. Uh, but I'm going to put a video up on the Rishi mushroom before too long, so check that out. And we've got a hen of the woods. This is my third hen of the year. See, it's more than one. A smaller one here too. It's getting a little bit old, so I hope I can salvage some of it. This one here is a little fresher. These are really light in color. They're usually darker than this, particularly when they're younger. But anyway, I'm gonna take them. You can see on the base here how it's turning yellow. It's not as firm as it used to be. It's turning a little spongy. Can tell that's uh, a sign that it's getting older, but I think a lot of this top part will still be sal salvageable. On second thought, I have started pulling some of this apart, and it is really kind of crumbling. It's well past its prime. Too bad. I always see at least one box turtle when I'm out on these mushroom hunts. Usually many more than that.
Turn this guy over. This was a huge bully of some kind coming off the out of the base of the tree or right by the base of the tree. That was the size of the, the stem on it. So I don't really know what kind it is, but that was one big mushroom, and there was a smaller one here. Got these little guys all over this stump. Not exactly sure what they are. I do have some fresh pear-shaped puffballs, and since I'm you know, a little something up there too, I don't know what that is, but since I'm not having a very productive day as far as finding edible mushrooms, I'm going to go ahead and take these, even though they're not not one of the most desirable, they are edible. I want to have something to show for my day. All right, what these are is called a dryad saddle and sometimes called a pheasant back. These are very light colored ones, but you can see they sort of have that feathery look. They kind of look like the back of a, of a bird. Uh, these are old, too old for eating. However, right here, there's a, a nice young specimen coming out and sort of branching in several different directions, so I'm going to take that one. Okay, I found a couple more hens. And these feel like they'll be closer to their prime. Maybe still just a little, I see a little yellowing there, but this one's got had a stick fall on it. That one may not may not be the best, but I'll see if any of it's salvageable. And even as I was looking at these two, right here, you see there's a, another smaller one right over there. And another one on the other side of the tree. At least one. I, I can't see all the way around there yet. This one, as I cut what I could and pulled it up, there's going to be some, some of these yellow areas they are not good anymore but some of this is still pretty firm and I think it still will be good. Okay, so after saying I wasn't having a very productive day, I've got my small bag of honeys, a couple of puff balls, and a dryad saddle. And now I've got two <laughs> bags full of hen of the woods, which probably weigh, I'm guessing that's about 20 pounds. That may be 10 or 15. And now i got to carry all this out of here. Yeah. Alright, so here's what I ended up with. I miscalculated the weights a little bit that I was I was guessing. that My two bags together actually totaled just under 20 pounds. So, that's pretty cool. Nice little bunch of hen of the woods. Along with some honeys. There's a few little pear-shaped puffballs in there and one little cluster of dryad saddles um, pretty happy with that I was getting discouraged before I discovered that uh, that last tree with the hens all around it so that made it all worth it of course it was 
worth it just being out in the woods for a day instead of being at work because I actually played hooky from work for a day to go mushroom hunting. So thanks for joining me. Have a great day.